One of your loved ones has been hospitalized with a confirmed or suspected coronavirus diagnosis. This is a stressful time for everyone involved. This animation will illustrate how the disease progresses in most cases. When you are infected with the coronavirus, you will usually experience flu-like symptoms like coughing and or fever. 80% of all patients can stay at home until they are better. Some people need additional medical attention. In the acute care department, we will determine what care a patient needs. Think of, for example, extra fluids via an IV or extra oxygen. Most people can be sent to a standard nursing ward where their infection will be monitored. The corona infection may lead to pneumonia, which means the body's ability to absorb oxygen is compromised. To ensure the patient gets enough oxygen, it may be necessary to put them on a respirator in the intensive care ward. The intensive care ward is a special department that specializes in treating severely ill patients. Most patients are surrounded by medical equipment. In the intensive care ward, oxygen can be delivered straight into the lungs via a tube. As a result, the lungs can function better. This method of respiratory support gives the body's immune system more time to defeat the virus. Most patients spend several weeks on respiratory support. Afterwards, they must spend additional time in recovery. People over the age of 70 and those with existing health issues such as hypertension, diabetes, chronic lung disease or cardiovascular disease have an elevated risk of a more severe disease progression. Fortunately, most patients make a full recovery.